okay hello everyone so i had this issue with my um, toshiba laptop as you can see i have a toshiba satellite p50t so i was working on the system and i put it to sleep so after putting it to sleep at a later time i came on to get back to work and the laptop will not wake up from sleep i thought it's a minor issue although actually it's minor but when i started troubleshooting it, it looked like a very major problem so i tried everything i could and then i went online i came on here on youtube to find solution and i found a whole lot of videos that people testified to yeah that they are actually helpful but i don't know i tried it it won't come on so the original solution that i found on youtube like i said was that you press a reset button and on my laptop here i'm trying to locate the reset button okay the reset button is somewhere here yeah i don't know if you can see but it's a very tiny hole and to touch the button underneath the hole i used this wire yeah the wire goes into the hole and once you tap it you go on to hold the power button for uh, 20 to 30 seconds or 60 seconds and plug back in your power cable okay i did that and it didn't it didn't work really it didn't work and it got really frustrating well some other video asked me to open it up so i opened it up and then this is what the inside looks like okay so after opening it up i tried a couple of things i i don't know i uh, i tried a couple of things i removed one of the ram um, memories card here then repeated the process it didn't work i pulled out the battery tried it with just the power cable still it won't come on and then i discovered something which that's what i did that I eventually got my system to power back on and that's what i want to show you in this video so i am moving closer to this region here yeah that's it so accessing um the reset button from the cover from the outside with this wire i discovered that i was actually accessing this button here okay so if you use the wire from outside you are going to hit this button here so which is what a lot of people have found to be the solution but for some reasons it did not work for me but then i noticed that there is one other button beside it which is not accessible from the outside from from the case when you go through the hole so I decided to hit this button as well. I mean, I, I don't know which um, the sequence, but I hit 
this one a couple of times and then I hit the other one a couple of times and pulled out the battery okay and then held the power button for one minute because at this time I'm so frustrated I am not even in a hurry again so I did one minute and then I plugged in the power cable and it worked okay I came back plugged in the battery and tried to put it on again it won't come on so I came back here again to do the reset again and then plug in the power cable and boom it came on and it was saying um, my battery is weak uh, I think a CMOS battery or so so I guess that's where the whole issue started from okay so that's what I did to make it work I understand that yeah the initial process worked for a lot of people but for some of us for some reasons that process did not work so if that did not work for you you can also try this one hopefully it works for you there are two reset buttons and just try to use both of them to reset and let's see how it goes okay if you find this uh, useful if it worked for you please note it in the comment section and let other people um, access this and try it if it will work for them okay thank you if you enjoyed this video I would like you to hit the follow button and you can also subscribe because there are some other things I am bringing your way soon especially for some of us that are interested in reservoir simulation yeah how to build the reservoir simulation model from static all the way to dynamic okay just follow me on this page and i'm going to be showing you a whole lot of things thank you